was taps and drags upon the animal. Each one of them meant a different thing, just as did the code, and then each group of them together meant a different thing, as did the code. Then, for wherever it was carried out upon the anvil, that was where the work was intended to be done. Because the anvil became the hammer gauge to everything that was laid upon. Because this was the back of the metal, quarter way up, half, three quarter, and the end. Then, finally, in 1908 to 1910, that was when the entire world woke up and realized that the anvil was not just a blacksmith's tool and the anvil was adopted into the percussion musical instruments and then you had the anvil choruses which were made up of up to 50 anvils all keyed differently most of your major orchestras your bands your symphonies all had an anvil but to play one sounds a lot like wind chime bells hammer dulcimer xylophone there are only five of us in the united states that we know of we lost six of us uh, two weeks ago but we lost one and we know of it still still play the anvil but anyway Play one, this is what it sounds like. It does sound far different than you might imagine, doesn't it? Yeah. But there's not an anvil made in our world today which will chime that bell chime. Because for an anvil to chime like a bell, it must first be forged beneath a five to 50,000 pound drop hammer. And all anvils today are foundry casted, with the exception of two, which is Petting House and Reffling House in Germany. And they call it drop forged, but actually it is hydraulically pressed. So it still does not shine. But anyway, and this, if you notice, this one is sitting on sawdust. That sawdust serves as a capo, just like on a guitar. If you want to raise the pitch of the anvil, you slide the sawdust further toward the front and length of the heel. If you want to base your the pitch of the anvil, you slide the sawdust toward the back and length of the horn. But each part of the anvil is a different key.
just depending on where you test it. Yeah. But I hope that you all enjoyed that. Amen.